So if humans are adaptive creatures, why is it that they engage in maladaptive behaviors? Why do they uh, engage in compulsive buying, pathological gambling, pornographic addictions, eating disorders? How could these things exist if we are adaptive creatures? Well, f the first thing to note is that each of these pathologies happen in very sex-specific ways around the world. So for example, compulsive buying is almost exclusively a female affliction. Pathological gambling is almost exclusively a male affliction. And this happens to be true irrespective of the culture that you come from. So it can't be due to a particular cultural setting because it transcends cultures. So that's already the first flag that there must be some biological mechanism that's driving these processes. So what I argue is that each of these uh, disorders is ultimately rooted in an adaptive process. So for example, pathological gambling, men compete for resources because women are attracted to men who have resources, who are willing to share resources. Now, if I am a low uh, ranking, young, single male that's unemployed, but I'm de in desperate need of gaining resources, one possible way by which I could acquire resources is to gamble. So it becomes very easy for me to succumb to that pull because it's, a, it's one of many ways by which I could acquire resources. Take compulsive buying, on the other hand. Well, compulsive buying is a predominantly female affliction, but if you look at what women compulsively hoard, they don't hoard hammers and lawnmowers. So it's not that it's just a general process of I just want to hoard products. They hoard beautification products, high heels, cosmetics, uh, sexy clothes. So again, in their case, they are engaging in a maladaptive form of an otherwise adaptive process, in this case, beautification. Porno pornography is the same thing. Men have evolved this desire to seek sexual variety, and now you provide men with an opportunity to surf the net ad infinitum for images of beautiful, naked, ready women. Well, it's easy for men to succumb to this trap. So ultimately, each of these disorders is rooted in a biological reality.